Every RVer has to deal with unlevel campsites from time to time. Even if your RV is equipped with a leveling system, some sites are so sloped that you just can't get your rig level. Okay, maybe not quite this bad, but you get the idea. This is why RVers carry leveling blocks, also referred to as jack pads, stacker blocks, or stabilizer pads. Whatever you call them, they all serve the same purpose, allowing you to level your RV on a sloped campsite. They also help keep jacks from sinking into soft surfaces. Some of the most common are the yellow or red plastic levelers typically found at RV or camping stores. A little googling will reveal a wide array of other options too. If you have a circular or table saw, you can even home make your own from blocks of wood. Unfortunately for us full-timers who are conscious of space, weight, quality, and cost, nearly all of these options have their drawbacks. Homemade wood blocks are inexpensive, but they're heavy and can crack or rot over time. They also require tools and raw materials, and you also need to be at least a little bit handy. Basic plastic stacker blocks are reasonably priced, lightweight, and compact for easy storage, but they have a waffle-like grid bottom, allowing them to sink into soft surfaces, and they're not always strong enough to support a heavier RV without cracking, especially on soft or uneven surfaces. The wide assortment of higher-end jack pads we've found mostly suffer from several of the following problems. Too thin to provide enough height. Too flexible, allowing them to deform on uneven surfaces. Too large and heavy to be easily stored. Too smooth, which allows them to slide on each other when stacked. Worst of all, most of the higher-end jack pads are what we consider to be outrageously expensive. We've been making do with a basic set of plastic blocks for a while, even though we know they're not really up to the task of leveling our large motorhome. We simply were unwilling to spend a fortune on high-end jack pads that were lacking in so many areas. Now that our current set of cheap stacker blocks has about had it, we were considering buying some of those really expensive pads, despite their drawbacks, when we came across another option. A set of levelers we'd never heard of before, called utility blocks. They appeared to address every shortcoming of all the other options, and even included some clever features that we'd never seen before and didn't even know we needed. At only about three pounds each, they're lightweight, but virtually indestructible. Utility blocks have several really well thought out features. The angled front is designed to act as a ramp for tires to drive up onto. The rope handle is securely attached and makes it easy to retrieve the blocks after use. Unlike some of the less expensive blocks on the market, these are virtually flat on the bottom. The only area of the bottom that isn't perfectly flat is this groove. This is an ingenious design feature as you'll notice that the top has a matching ridge. The purpose of the ridge and the groove is so that they fit together like a key in a lock. When the weight of an RV presses these blocks together, they lock in place and can't slide off each other. The notch on this end of the block is really clever. It's designed for a standard awning rod to slip right down in it, making it easy to move the blocks in and out underneath the RV rather than reaching underneath. The utility blocks also have long holes drilled through them. This saves weight without compromising strength. Compared to the basic plastic blocks we've been using, utility blocks are larger, providing more surface area to prevent sinking into soft surfaces, and also thicker, providing more height when trying to level on a badly sloped campsite. For travel trailers, this circular recess in the center of the block is designed to support the tongue jack. It's a clever way to hold the wheel in place while preventing it from sinking into soft ground. If you level your RV by driving up onto the blocks, you can roll onto a single block or stack them higher as needed. Utility blocks can handle the weight of our large motorhome with ease, and they can't slip off each other because the raised ridge top and the recessed groove bottom nest together securely under the weight of the RV. If you regularly park a heavy motorhome on very soft surfaces, you might need to spring for jack pads with an even larger surface area to prevent sinking. But those pads can be a lot heavier and are generally much more expensive 
typically costing two or three or even four to five times as much. After 10 years of RVing, utility blocks are perfect for about 98% of the places we camp. They're the perfect balance of size, weight, strength, and cost. They're big enough to provide a good surface area and thick enough to provide good lift without being too large and heavy. Even though they only weigh about three pounds each, they seem indestructible. We've had our utility blocks long enough to be very happy customers, and we wanted to share what we think are the best all-around levelers on the market. Thank you.